All right, so we're gonna go over a variation of an oblique set so that we can try to get the right side of our body to sort of open up a little bit again so we can get our foot cues. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna need some type of pillow or cushion or, or bath towel to be able to sit on. And you're gonna need probably a couple of books so you can make, so you're gonna have one book be down here and then put the other one at the slant so you can put your arm on it. And then I've got this again to sort of, uh, Cushion, cushion my arm, cushion my knee if I need to. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna get on top of that hip and then you're gonna get your arm situated on your ramp that you made with your books, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to roll your arm first towards the inside of your elbow, okay? And you're gonna keep it there and then you're gonna try to make sure you've got pressure here and here on your hand, okay? Like most of it, almost all of it's on the elbow, okay? So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna lean forward enough till you start to feel some pressure on sort of on this aspect of your knee right there, okay? So as you go come forward, so you got pressure on your hip, pressure on your elbow, and then pressure, a little bit of pressure on the knee. And from here, you're just gonna sink into your arm and you're breathing. As you take a breath in and out, we should feel as your ribs on this bottom side sort of get bigger as you go to take that breath of air in. Okay, so they're gonna go out this way, down that way, and then backwards behind us. Again, don't lose the position of the inside of your elbow. And sometimes you might have to turn inwards a little bit this way to make sure you keep pressure on that inside elbow. It's gonna do that for about three sets of five, five breaths, and then you can try uh, getting on your back and finding your foot cues again. Let me know if you have any questions.